We are celebrating an era of modern, innovative technology. It all started in April 1958 with the Expo in Brussels and with its groundbreaking architectural symbol, the Atomium. At the same time as the Expo 1958, an outstanding medical breakthrough caused a sensation. On October 8th, the 42-year-old Swede Arne Larsen was the world's first patient to receive an implanted heart pacemaker. The dream of extending and improving lives through the use of medical technology was finally becoming a reality. Since the late 1950s, medical technology has revolutionized public health, thanks primarily to the multidisciplinary research of scientists, technicians and physicians. Hosts of patients owe their lives and the quality of their lives to the advances made in the field of medical technology. Widespread use of fiber optic endoscopes began in the 1960s. The development of ultrasonic testing provided radiation-free insight into the human body. What seemed to be impossible in the past became an everyday sight in the 1980s and 90s. For example, remote patient monitoring of all corporal functions. Diagnosis, treatments, prosthesis. Medical technology alleviates pain, injury and handicap. It is one of the most innovative industries in the world. Solutions like home monitoring increase the cost effectiveness of medical care. Minimally invasive surgery means fast recovery times and reduced length of stay in hospitals. Medical devices help to tackle widely prevalent disorders such as obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases. Wheelchairs, insulin pumps, surgical instruments, joint prosthesis, bandages, life support machines, condoms, drug eluting stents. More than 500,000 products enhance the quality and efficacy of care. You can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it. Progress and sometimes even fashion. Today's possibilities are by far surpassing all expectations of 1958. Biotechnology helps in healing sport injuries and burns through tissue engineering. Nanotechnology has created new smart medical devices. Nanoparticles are being used to heal cancer. Orthopedic implants with nano-coated surfaces will improve bone fixation. And every day, new and exciting medical technologies are developed. Medical technology solutions have the power to transform patients' lives, essential for European social and economic prosperity. UCOMET member companies employ 435,000 people and generate annual sales of 63 billion euros, growing is at a rate of 6%. Investing in medical technology leads to a healthier, wealthier society. However, little is known on how medical technology innovation impacts the economy and welfare in European countries. To fill this gap, we created the European Health Technology Institute for Socio-Economic Research in 2007. By working together with all stakeholders, including physicians, we strive to secure better quality of life for patients. We support our members with opportunities to operate, innovate and market more freely. Our aim is to help European policymakers find better and more cost-effective solutions. Let's collaborate on funding, reimbursement and patient access. It's worth the effort.
by 2050, one in three people in Europe will be older than 65. Prevention, early detection and effective treatment lead to a high quality of life. Let's create an environment that encourages investment in the medical technology for the benefit of each one of us. By the way, Arne Larsen lived to the blessed age of 86.